What's up, y'all? It's Vince, and I got an order of Akaushi Wagyu beef from a local farm. Check it out. So in this package, um, I got from a local farm here in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. It's uh, called Dottie Creek Farms, and I have more information about them in the description. But basically, they uh, raise Akaushi Wagyu beef, which is, I'm pretty sure it's either Japanese red or brown cattle. The Wagyu that produces Kobe and all the really fancy A5 is Japanese black, which is the most common. But um, this, this local farm here produces uh, Japanese red or brown, which is, gives amazing marbling. Probably not as good as um, Japanese like Kobe or Miyazaki, but it's still going to be really nice. And uh, I wanted to show you guys. This is my first uh, purchase of Wagyu ever. I only really uh, get choice. I haven't even tasted or bought Prime yet. So I just skipped Prime and got some Wagyu. And uh, I'm happy to be supporting a local. But first thing at the at the bag, I got uh, New York Strips. As you can see. Get that over there. Move that. Uh, let me get this. What is this? I got a ribeye. Nice, about one and a half inches thick. Almost, well, a pound and a quarter. You see. They do, um, they dry age after the, they kill the cow. They dry age it for at least 28 days. 28 to 31 days, I think. Uh, more info on their website, link in the description. Another New York strip. So I got two New York strips, uh, 0 .8, 0 0.8 pounds per, and then one ribeye, a pound and a quarter. I got this flank steak right here. Never cooked up a flank steak, so I wanted to try it. This is what it looks like. I heard it's pretty lean. But with Wagyu, I expect it to be a little bit more uh, flavorful, more tender. And a cut that I never found in grocery stores. Only seen them in like uh, specialty, specialty uh, butchers. But this really nicely marbled tri-tip. I'm really excited to try this. Look at that. Wow. This isn't full blood Akaushi. It's, um, they crossbreed it with uh, Angus and Charley's cows. So it's F1, which is 50% Wagyu, 50% American. So it's American Wagyu beef. This last thing I have is a, uh, oh. The farmer, uh, Charles, he was talking really highly of this ground, oh, the sticker. He was talking really highly of the ground beef in a, I have high expectations. Oh, that stuck. But I have high expectations for this. This ground beef. They uh, he sells these at well. This this beef is used at uh, some nice diners and uh, restaurants in here in Nashville. Uh, Butcher Town Hall. If you search it up, it's one of them. They serve the Dotty Creek Wagyu Wagyu ground beef burgers, and it's really nice. I haven't tried it, but I've seen good reviews. But yeah, this is the spread from uh, Dotty Creek Farms. Check them out. Local Akaushi Wagyu beef. And uh, today I will be cooking probably a New York strip up. I'm going to get this defrosted. And then cook it. So stay tuned. Alright y'all, so I got that New York strip. Uh, from Dotty Creek Farms uh, defrosted seasoned with salt pepper garlic and a little bit of MSG uh, To cook it. I'm gonna be pan searing it on my cast iron with beef tallow until it reaches a medium rare of 130 degrees Fahrenheit and after that I'm gonna be putting a little uh, rosemary garlic butter on top to add some extra flavors and then Show y'all what it looks like stay tuned 